He was a recipient of the Wellstone Award. He's a person that stood with us unequivocally as we tried to save the steel industry. He's been with us in every fight that we've had for social and economic justice. The last steel crisis that began in 1998, every battle we had from that point in time until today, Pete Vesklosky has been not only with us, but he's been beside us. And many times, I'm not afraid to say he was leading us. Please welcome our friend, Pete Vesklosky. Uh, I'm here, first of all, to thank each one of you uh, for your appearance here today on the west front of the capital of the United States of America. You've left family at home. You've left your job at home. Uh, you've gone to expense to make sure your voice is heard for American citizens who want to work for a decent wage, who want to make sure that they're protected in their retirement, and who want to make sure if something happens to either themselves or their loved ones, uh, they're going to have health insurance at the end of it. The sad fact is that since George Bush took office on January 20, 2001, in the state of Indiana, and you replicate that across the country, we have lost over three steel jobs a day. And you do the math. Every day he sits in the White House in the state of Indiana alone, we're losing three steel jobs a day. You think about the other industrial sectors. You think about the other good paying jobs and a change has to be made. You think about the average executive compensation in the United States of America today, that's over 800 times what someone working for the minimum wage makes in the United States of America and something has to change. Tens of millions of people without any health insurance and companies outsourcing jobs as fast as they can. I am here to thank you for all of your help in the last election. Now you have three new Democratic members from Indiana in the House of Representatives and elections make a difference. What was one of the first votes we had in the 110th Congress to increase the minimum wage? What was one of the first votes we had in the United States Congress this year? That your government on your behalf ought to be able to talk to drug companies about what they charge us for the products they sell. We are working hard. I will reintroduce my legislation as far as making sure companies that do want to outsource don't do it with your tax dollars and my tax dollars. We will all work hard to make sure that we have trade reform, that we have trade reform so we can derail fast track, so we can make sure when the Chinese cheat every day and cut our economic throat that we can impose duties to compensate for that. I appreciate you being here, and I again uh, thank you for your commitment to working men and people everywhere. Take care.